Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Blue Force, we're on part 7. And in our previous video, we were spending some time with Lyle. We went over uh, some case files of our parents' death and we learned about the bullets and uh, learned a little bit more about uh, Richard Cobb and how he calls himself the uh, snowman, I believe it was. Yeah. And... Uh, so we went back to Tony's bar to get some information, and we learned about a man named Weasel. Whatever that means. But we're told that Weasel works at the Alley Cat, so we're here to ask some questions. Get some information. Are you the manager? That's me. Eugene's a name on a bowl a couple of lines. <laughs> no thanks, Eugene. Mugshot's useless. Oh, Forest Folly. You know anything about that? No. How about that? No. Oh, well, we do have a napkin. Take a look at this. Does the name Weasel mean anything to you? Come on, man. I got work to do. I'd appreciate... I really appreciate your help. People in hell want ice water. Run away or take a lock. Sir, I'm a police officer and I'm investigating a case. I really would appreciate any additional information you could give me. Why didn't you tell me this was official business? Paula works here, he's out back. Paula? Forest Paula? Is that the weasel's real name? Yeah, he's in the back right now. I'll go get him for you. Hey, Paula! Someone to see you! Well, I'll be damned. Look, Follett, you can talk to me here, or we can go downtown. It's up to you. What do you want to know? You've been implicated in the Strathmore National Guard Armory burglary. Whoa, you ain't gonna pin that on me. Then give me another name. I ain't got a name. Take him downtown, Lyle. No, wait! Snake! That's all I know. Some guy named Snake. Where do I find this snake? I only met him once. Come on, Follett, I don't have all day. Okay, down by the Bikini Hut. That's all I know. Thanks, Mr. Follett, you've been a big help. Okay, Lyle, take him out and put him in the car. You got it, Jake. I'll take him in after we check out his story. Hey, wait a minute. Can it, Follett. When you run with the big dogs, you're gonna get bit. Get him out of here, Lyle. <laughs> Fuck him, Dano. You, ain't know, you know any more about Follett? I just dropped him off at some trailer once, that's all. Did Follett keep any of his personal belongings here? I don't know, well, I guess. I can check in the back in case he did. Well, how about that? <laughs> Only thing back there is this key. It ain't mine. Thank you for checking. I'll take the key if it's alright with you. Her, like I said, it ain't mine. from the Alley Cat's manager. Alright, well, so Forrest said there was somebody by the, um, Bikini Hut, right? Come on, Jake, time's money, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, the Bikini Hut is just down the, down the street, so we'll go check that out. Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. All right, well, we're back here. And we should probably make a save. And we'll call it... Bikini Hut. Let's see if the door's open. It's locked. Well, how about that? All right, well, where are we now? Let's see where we are here. A small bunk sets by the door. Old news you've read before. Anything in the garbage? 
Snake Lee, Snake, blah, 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 Snake needs to take out his trash. Sorry about that. Cupboard door hangs easily on its hinges. A simple cupboard. A small bit box fits on top of the cupboards. Yeah, that's what's in the box. I'm sure Snake won't mind us looking around. Take a closer look at the box. Hey, does that look familiar to you guys? ENG 9mm Luger. Hmm. The box is marked 9mm ENG. The ammunition will be an important piece of evidence. These are from the box of, gov of government 9mm ANG rounds taken from the trailer. Let's see what else we can find. Cupboard contains nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Can't open it. Still can't open it. Can't open that one. And the dishwasher's broken. Anything in the sink? Water drips slowly from the faucet. Fair enough. Anything in the bed? Nope. Some boots over here. A pair of boots lay on the floor. Let's take a look at them. The boot has an orthopedic lift built into the lift to the sole of the heel. The sight of the orthopedic lift triggers a nearly forgotten memory. Uh-oh. Hmm. Could these be the same boots as the killer? Could Snake be the killer? Who is this Snake? Snakes. Why is it always gotta be snakes? Snake, what happened? Snake! Snake! Sorry, couldn't help myself. Um, Alright, let's take a look. Well, you know, the boot looks a little strange. Let's see what happened. Seems a little strange. Doesn't it look like there's a screw here? I wonder. <gasps> gasp! 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 What's this? What did we pick up? Looks like it's a note. The note initialed SC is a list of dates for arms shipments from a Marblehead Island warehouse. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Can't take the boots in. Looks like, can we take it as evidence? Pretty sure that's all the evidence we need. But whoever the snake character is, seems to have some associations with the murder. Let's let Jake our, uh, let our pilot partner know what we found. I took Folly down to the station and turned him over to Sutter while you were poking around. Find anything, kid? Sure did, Lyle. A schedule of arms ship inside of Marble Ed Head Island with the initials SC and some of the 9mm ANG ammo. The schedule even mentions Future Wave by name. You hit the jackpot, Jake. That's the break we needed. Let's get back to the office. I'll see what I can do tomorrow to get the ATF in on this case. You check out Marble Head Island, partner. Partner? You mean it? Why not? Your name's already on the stationery. Thanks, Lyle. I'll check in with you after I check out the island. You get home and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Alright! We're making progress here. I guess we need to head home for the day, right? Really not much more else we can do. So we'll go home for the night. The next day. Alright, well, we now have a mission. And that mission involves us going down to the marina to get a boat and get onto this island and see what what's down there. 
Maybe we'll find some more information about the killer. Maybe we'll find the killer and see him, him himself. Who knows? But we'll have to do that in the next video.